Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. I have an all new current favorites video for you guys. I used to film these every single month, but for 2019, I decided that I should do them every two months. So this is a current update for you guys on some products that I'm loving that I highly recommend that I can't stop reaching for. So let's go ahead and hop into it. These two primers I have been so impressed with. So First Aid Beauty, you already know, I love their original primer, which is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. And they recently came out with two more primers in that lineup. So this is the Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Primer. And then the second one is the Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. Now they're both white, so it's kind of hard to see them, but I actually did a video comparing this to the original. I did a side-by-side -side of half my face and the other half, so I will leave that link down below if you wanted to watch it, but both of these I really enjoy, and I actually recently recommended this guy in my Sephora VIB recommendations. I would have recommended this one as well, but this one is an Ulta exclusive. But if you need hydration, I think this is a really nice option for you, and this one I actually think I'm going to be reaching for a ton in the summer months because it's mattifying and smoothing without making your skin look dry and dull. It's kind of more of a satin natural finish, so I really enjoy both of these primers. Now a foundation favorite. This is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Mineral Makeup. This is a very old product. I mean, it's new to me, but it's definitely been around for a very long time and this is a powder foundation and I feel like powder foundations are kind of coming back into trend these days and I just love the ease of this so I take it with a rounded foundation brush and just buff it onto my skin and if I apply a very thin layer the coverage is very sheer but if you go in and build up and layer a little bit on you can get a nice medium coverage I can definitely cover up any imperfections that I want to I did film a get ready with me sharing how I apply this so I'll leave that linked below but I do like my creams if I'm gonna do any concealer or anything I will do that first and then powder on top and I really like this on days where I'm going to be wearing my makeup for a very long time I took this with me when I was in New York because there were days I was wearing my makeup 12 14 hours I would apply it very early in the morning and then I would have it on throughout the day and this isn't necessarily the longest wearing but because it's so effortless and it is a powder, it's very easy to touch up. You can't really touch up a liquid foundation. You can, but it's a bit of a process and it's not always going to give you a seamless result. But you can just pack a little bit more of this on a few hours later and it's a really nice simple touch up. So I'm such a big fan of this for my easy makeup days. I see myself using this even more in the summer months. All right, a few months back, I finally gave into the hype and picked up the Take Home the Bronze bronzer from The Balm. So this bronzer is just so hyped up, so popular. And I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first because I tend to prefer a somewhat warmer bronzer. Bronzers that have almost more of a red undertone and give you kind of a very sun-kissed look. Whereas this is a lot more neutral and it almost leans onto the cool tone side. And I didn't really think I think I liked bronzers that color, but this has grown on me so much and I enjoy that I can use it as a contour. And I thought at first that it was just gonna work as a contour and I would have to go in with other bronzers. And that's really what I was doing the first few weeks that I had the product. But then I realized that it actually is a nice tone to bronze up my entire face. You can use it exclusively to contour, but I feel like once you start adding it around the temples and other portions of the outside of the face, it does actually have a little bit of warmth. So. I really like this and I feel like the price tag is not bad at all. It's on a, it's about $17, so I mean it's not a drugstore product, but for high end, it's very very affordable and I definitely would recommend this. I can see what the hype is about and I've had so much fun reaching for it. And I just the balm really has the cutest packaging. You can't deny it. So you may have noticed that recently I've been into some very neutral makeup looks, not a ton on the eyes, not a ton on the face, but a very bold pop on the lip. And I've been especially liking colors that are more orangey toned, more coral. And this lipstick has been one of my favorites to reach for in the spring. This is the shade Tulip Treatment from Physicians Formula. Now I have raved about their liquid lipsticks before. The formula is just so comfortable. It's very reminiscent of the Ofra liquid lipsticks in the sense that they're moussey and creamy and hydrating and they don't dry down completely, completely. Now this is actually very similar to the color that's on my lips today, but it's not the same color. 
This is the shade Orange Fizz from Bite, which I have a feeling will be a new favorite for me, but I haven't tested it out enough yet to feature it in this video, but these are just the tones I like right now, okay? This one in particular, it's almost a red. It's, I mean, it is a red, but it kind of has this coral orangey undertone to it, so it's a nice spin off of your traditional bold red, and it's perfect for the spring. I wore this, actually I used this in a Get Ready With Me, the same one that I used the Pure Foundation, so this has been a go-to for me. All right, and the Persona Cosmetics lip glosses. I really, really, really like these a lot. I'm already a lip gloss lover and this formula is superb. So they have three shades. This is Toffee, this is Honey, and then I have Peach, but I can't find it. And I went to look for it in my purse, which is where I suspected it would be because it's Peach has been the shade. I thought I would like Toffee the most, but Peach is actually my favorite. So that one has really not left my purse, but I just went to check my wallet and it wasn't in there. So that's usually a sign. If I have lost a lip product, it's probably because I love it and it's like going in and out of purses and bags. Do you guys feel like that? If you, if you lose a lip gloss, it's probably your favorite color. Does that always happen or is that just me? So this is Toffee and I actually did a full lip swatch video of these on my Instagram if you wanna see that. But the thing about this formula is that it's a little bit more sheer. So the colors are going to be very, Wow, I did such a bad swatch of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me swatch that again. That's a little bit better. But because it is more of a sheer lip gloss formula, the colors are going to look so different on everyone. It's going to depend on what the natural color of your lips are. These are just a nice sheer tint. So honestly, I think any of these colors would work on most people just because they are so sheer. Even like if you have a very deep skin tone, I still think the shade Peach, which is the lightest one, would work on you because it's just a nice wash of color. And these all have little micro glitters in it, so it gives you a nice sheen, helps the lips look plump. These are very hydrating. They're very thin, which is what I look for in a lip gloss formula. I don't want it to be sticky and globby, and these look beautiful on their own as a very, very subtle look, or you can layer them on top of a liner or on top of a lipstick. Okay, moving on to skincare. I really don't have a ton to mention, but I have one product that has blown my socks off. Blown my socks off, that's not the expression. So this is the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream. Again, I mentioned this in my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. So I did not anticipate to love this as much as I did because I have heard from some people that it is a little bit too intense and I have very sensitive skin, so I kind of thought that this was going to maybe give my under eyes a reaction. I thought I would have to ease myself into it. And I actually did not at all, and my under eyes love this stuff. So before this, my go-to under eye cream was the Skin, not cream, well, serum, was the Skin Iceland one. And I finished that, talked about it in an empties video, and I was like, I'm probably going to repurchase this because I love it so much. But I had this in like a backup store of things to try, so I brought it out. And I like this even more than the Skin Iceland one, and I still highly recommend the Skin Iceland one. This your under eyes, well, I guess I won't speak for everyone because everyone's under eyes are different. I'll tell you my experience. My under eyes are so smooth after I use this. If I don't remember to put this on before bed, I will get some puffiness, I will wake up. This actually does help to cancel out some of the blue or I guess prevent the blue. Like I look like I've had a great night of sleep when I apply this. This is fantastic. It's pretty pricey, but I would repurchase this because my under eyes adore this retinol eye cream. All right, let's talk nails. So I have two favorites. One is a color, spoiler alert, it's the color I'm wearing right now. We'll get into it though. But my other favorite thing for my nails these days, I've talked about this in a few videos and I'm still obsessed with this. So in case you haven't heard yet, glass nail files, okay? If you are into wearing your natural nails and you don't like to get your nails done, but you really wanna keep up the, sorry, this is like, shaking in the container, but you really wanna keep up the health of your nails, I highly, highly recommend investing in a glass nail file. And the beautiful thing about glass nail files is that they're not supposed to dull. If you buy a high quality glass nail file, it should keep its grit basically the whole lifetime of the nail file. A lot of glass files even come with a lifetime guarantee. So this one I bought off of Amazon, but I actually do have one more glass nail file that I thought I lost and then I found it is from the brand Context Skin. So I'm gonna leave a couple linked down below 
I don't, it doesn't matter which one you buy. I mean, get a higher quality one, of course, but these, this is the best $10 you will ever spend. My nails love this so much. I even got my best friend hooked on glass nail files and she will send me pictures of her nails and they are so long. And I'm like, that's your natural nail? You didn't get acrylic sun? She's like, no, that's my real nail. And the good thing about these is that Regular nail files will kind of leave your nails kind of sawed open, a little bit jaggedy, but with a glass file, it's so smooth that it actually seals the cuticle as it's filing, so your nails are much less likely to peel. And I am someone who has terrible peely nails, and I've actually, this is a, a tangent on the side, let me get into it. I have been trying to deal with my peeling nails for a while now. I think that it has to do with my diet because I've been vegetarian for almost two years now and that's kind of when I started noticing my nails starting to peel. So I've been making sure I get enough iron and other things in my diet. So hopefully the peeling will subside eventually. If you guys are peely nail people, let me know if you have any recommendations. But this actually helps a lot. I feel like my nails are much less likely to peel back when I'm using this because it just leaves the ends so smooth and they're not as prone to just flaking off. So I highly recommend this. I really don't use a nail clipper anymore. I just exclusively file my nails down and I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. But sticking with nails, my favorite color right now for the spring is this one from NCLA. This is in the shade Members Only. It is the polish that I'm wearing right now. I think this is my perfect spring color. I've actually been looking for a blue similar to this and I hadn't been able to find one. This one I did receive in PR from NCLA. This is part of their spring collection that they call the Country Club Collection. And I've actually been loving all four colors in that collection. You've seen me post them mostly on my Instagram stories. Actually recently, if you follow me on Instagram, I recently added like a nails highlight to my Instagram because I just, I love painting my nails. I love different nail colors and you guys are often asking me questions about what I'm wearing. So I did leave a highlight over there and I have worn all four colors from this collection. I'm obsessed with all of them. And it's kind of funny because I mentioned two products from the Barbie collection from NCLA in a review video a month or two ago. And at that time, I had only tried those two and then I had an older NCLA polish that I'd had for years. And I said in the video, I was like, you know, I don't necessarily think that the wear time is any better than other nail polishes. And I am back to say that I was wrong. And maybe just the pink that I was wearing in the Barbie collection, I noticed chipping on at a normal rate, but I don't know, maybe it's just this Country Club collection. They last so long. And again, I have peeling nails, I keep saying that, but nail polishes don't tend to last as long on me because it's not the polish chipping away, it's my actual nail. But with these, I get almost a full wear of, a full week of wear time before they start to peel. Like five, six days is basically an eternity for me for my nail polish not to chip. So big, big fan, can't stop wearing this color. This, the second I put it on, I, I shared with you guys on Instagram, I was like, this is my new favorite nail polish color. I just want to wear this every day in the spring. I'm pretty obsessed with it. Okay, so those were some nail and makeup and skin favorites. Now I have two fashion, fashion accessory items, I will say, to mention. And these are two of my absolute favorites. So first, I wanted to share this necklace that you have probably seen me wearing in basically every video. It's my new go-to. So this is from Miranda Fry, and it is the Lola Chain. That's the name of the, like, chain and then the charm is sold separately and this is the alpha charm and obviously I got a K. This is Miranda Fry and I do have an affiliate code if you guys do want to use it. It is Kelly10. You guys are always asking me about my jewelry and it's basically all Miranda Fry. I try to link everything down below. There are a few things I get from like Target or whatnot but for most part, for, mo for the most part, the like dainty gold pieces that I wear every day are basically all Miranda Fry. Like my earrings, all that stuff. So this necklace has been my go-to. I just think this charm itself is so cute. My best friend actually bought the same charm because she thought this one was so cute. She has it on a different chain, but it's the same charm. And every time I see her wear it, I'm like, oh, that's a cute necklace. I'm like, oh, I have the same one. <laughs> and then my final accessory favorite is this bag. Now, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in another video and I've definitely shared it on my Instagram before, but this is the Angela Roy Hamilton crossbody. So it is a shorter length bag. So it kind of, I don't wear it as a crossbody because I feel like it's kind of short if I do that. I tend to just throw it over one shoulder and it hits right around the waist for me. I mean, I'm pretty petite, but it hits me like right around my hips, which I guess is not the same thing as my waist. I should have explained that better. But Angela Roy is vegan leather and I just 
adore this bag. It is so soft. And I've shared with you guys a couple other vegan leather handbags before. I also love the brand Melly Bianco. If you want a more affordable option, like not super affordable, not the prices of like Forever 21, but more entry level bags, I would say. They're nice vegan leather. That's Melly Bianco. But I feel like if you are starting to switch and stop purchasing leather, but you still are like a luxury bag lover, I would highly recommend Angela Roy. The first time I heard about this brand was from Andrea Matiliano, and I know that she has quite a few bags from them as well, and I just feel like the quality is so high, and whenever I wear this, it's like such a simple bag. I can't believe how many compliments I get on this. People are like, ooh, that's a cute purse. I'm like, it's just a brown over-the-shoulder bag, but it's, it's really cute. It's my go-to. I've been wearing it basically every day in spring. You know, in the winter, I wear a lot of black. I'm usually grabbing a black bag. But now that it's warming up, I feel like this is very springy and I love it. It has so many pockets on the inside. Nice faux suede in here. What do I have in here? Let's do a little what's in my bag. Not a ton, actually, because my wallet is over there. This, oh, when I was in New York, you guys saw Mean Girls the Musical. I posted that on my Instagram stories. You guys probably saw that. We did standing room only, and I didn't even know that Broadway shows had that option. So basically, if it's like a sold out show, you can purchase a standing room ticket. And we were kind of thinking, you know, this might be terrible, but it wasn't that bad. And it's only $30 if you do standing room only. So I would recommend doing that. What else do I have in here? A hair clip, a portable straw. You should see whenever I take this out in public and just like fold my straw together, people are like, what is she doing? <laughs> That's basically it right now because my wallet is sitting over there, but, but this has just been my go-to spring bag. I love pairing this with different outfits. I feel like it spices them up quite a bit. This was sent to me, but I actually would purchase another one of their bags. I would spend my own money on it. I think they're completely worth it, especially if you're looking for a more luxurious treat yourself vegan piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my current favorites. Let me know, do you like seeing them every two months? Would you prefer that I go back to posting them monthly or should I do them even more like seasonally? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also leave me your current favorites. What can you not stop reaching for? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.